There is an ungainly animal that lives across large parts of India. While in reality it is an antelope, Hindus consider it to be a cow called the Nilgai, which translates as blue cow in Hindi. This very mistaken identity has been an eternal saving grace for the blue bull, known less commonly in scientific parlance as Bosolaphus tragocamelus. While ungainly and with this apparent confusion of identity, the Nilgai really is a harmless animal. And as with all young ones, their calves look rather cute, especially with their black and white striped socks. Of course, the farmers of Haryana, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh would not agree. For the Roj, or Neel guy that raids their fields at night, does considerable damage to standing crops. It has even been classified as vermin in certain parts and licenses are available for hunting or culling large males. Needless to say, their numbers are not in decline and a Neel guy is the first easy sighting when visiting national parks such as Sariska and Ranthambore. Nonetheless, the sighting of a group of wild antelope in an urban setting can be quite thrilling. It is this site that is available to millions of Delhi residents at a certain crossroads in South Delhi. However, few notice it as they drive from IIT towards Mehroli and they either turn left onto the Press Enclave Road to the Saket Malls or turn right to head to the Vasant Kuj Malls instead. For in this new India, how can one survive without the motto of give us this day our daily mall? Indeed, Adchini is where the Nilgai herd are centred. Hence, our moniker of the blue cows of half sugar, which is the simplistic and totally wrong translation of Adchini. As part of the urbanization process, the Qutub institutional area was walled off from the adjoining Delhi Ridge forest that stretches from the Qutub Minar and Mehroli at one end to Vasant Kunj and Mahipalpur at the other end. In between, the forest stretches right up to ABDP or Aravali Biodiversity Park on the Gurgaon side. This same forest got truncated with the construction of the Ambience, Promenade and Emporio malls on the Vasant Kunj side. One such family of Nilgai crossed over to the Adjini side and subsequently got walled out of the forest. They now exist in a litigated Haryana government plant nursery with barely any grass or other natural food source. They resort to eating plastic, paper and garbage to make up for the lack of sustenance. They end up walking along the busy road that leads to Gurgaon, hoping to find discarded potato chip packets and other such trash. What an absolute urban low these poor antelope have reached in this messy and cruel urban agglomeration of the new India. With this film, we hope that the Forest Department and National Green Tribunal can arrange to create crossing points or else plan to rehabilitate this marooned family of antelope less than a kilometre to the south in the Kutub Ridge Forest. 
There they will have access to trees, shrubs and plants from which they can feed year round in their natural habitat of the Aravalli range. The Delhi ridge being the last offshoot of these ancient mountains. If you have been moved by this video, please write to the Divisional Forest Officer of New Delhi to make the Forest Department aware of the plight of these wonderful wild antelope that inhabit our city of 29 million human beings.